was that recruiting me and that the must consideration we come to a decision. If you ain't a gator, then you gator bait. If you ain't a gator, you gator bait, baby, let's go! There we go! Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Chomp, chomp, baby, Florida Gators. Now, you guys see something here. You know how we, we typically rock the spacesuit, okay? But I'm traveling, right? I'm out of home. So I had to call an audible here, boys and girls, okay? Teddy Foster just committed to Florida Gators. I had to call an audible for the spacesuit. So here's what we did. Come here, big guy. We got ourselves a spacesuit here. Not your typical spacesuit, but a Gator spacesuit right here, boys and girls. Check it out. Give him a chomp chop, Will. Look right here. Look right here, Will. Look right here, Will. Look straight ahead, Bubba. Let's go, baby. LeMans in a spacesuit, ready to rock and roll. Look at that. All right, got an improv spacesuit since I couldn't bring it. Thank you, Will. Give him a go, Gators. Give me chomp chomp. Yes, sir. Good job, big guy. Appreciate it, Bubba. Make sure you guys show some love for some Will. Uh, got, got to drop a light for my space, space, my astronaut there. He got ready just within a matter of 30 seconds. So, buddy was ready to rock and roll. I saw going in the behind the scenes here. Uh, the, the, the crew got him ready to rock. So, th thanks, thanks to mom for getting him locked and loaded there. Uh, but, man, I love it. Also, two guys, obviously, he was choosing out of Miami and uh, North Carolina here. I have a live look into Miami here, boys and girls. I want you guys to take a look here uh, of what's going on here. It's a live look of going on with Miami. This is unreal. This is, this is live right now happening at this very moment. There's Billy. Billy, eat it, crystal ball, right there. Yep, that's live, guys. That's crazy. I know that seems weird, but uh, I was able to pull that coverage out pretty quickly and dive into Miami to make that happen. So... Big pickup there from Teddy Foster. We're going to talk all about Teddy in just a minute, so don't go anywhere. We're going to have, we've got a jam-packed show for you guys. Talk about Teddy Foster committing. Talk about FSU missing, just dropping the absolute ball. Apparently, their program is shutting down, and we'll talk about that, obviously. In the Big 12 drama, a little bit of news, which was fun that what happened today. But yeah, live look in, uh, into the Miami right now which is absolutely incredible. Billy gets it done again, landing himself another big-time quarterback. Again, 6'2", 170. So, a little light on the weight, but we can put on the weight, right? The height is something there that is something to kind of keep in mind there. Again, we're going to talk all about him in just a moment there, but awesome stuff. Let's change the graphic now, boys and girls, because we are ready. Teddy Foster joins the family, boys and girls, locks it in. I think it's our 20th commit now, uh, getting us one step closer to that top two spots there behind Ohio State and the Florida Gators. Absolutely massive pickup. Let's go ahead and take a look at his film here now, Teddy Foster. I was doing some research. Obviously, three-star guy, so a lot of people are going to start hating on some, you know, I could see it now. Thankfully, Florida Gator fans are a little calmer than usual, but typically it's like he's a three-star. It's not that big of a deal, whatever. Top 300 player, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All those good things, right? What I want to talk about here is his size, okay? Mind you, he showed up to Florida at a camp. Corey Raymond saw him and go, hey, I like that kid. Gave him an offer on the spot. That's got to tell you something right then and there, okay? Now, I'm take this for a grain of salt. I watched this kid's film for, for a good bit uh, over the last few days here, okay? Teddy Foster here, obviously, cornerback, making some moves. A lot of his highlight tape, which you'll see here in just a moment, as it's happening now, he plays wide receiver. The guy goes after the ball and has great hands, okay? This reminded me of somebody, somebody else who was a three-star coming out of high school. I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for this. I don't care. Sauce Gardner, three-star, came out of high school, obviously went to Cincinnati, Played play both sides of the ball. Most kids in high school obviously do. 6'3", Sauce Gardner is. Big, a big for his size as well. We know what Sauce Gardner is, who he is, and what he does, and how he gets it done. Obviously, and I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, HBO will be doing hard knocks with the Jets, so we'll get to see Sauce Gardner even a little bit more than we are right now. Um, but again, not comparing him to Sauce, but... Don't overlook it. The guy has incredible size and incredible speed, and you can see he's an absolute ball hawk. I wa watching his film in comparison to Sauce Gardner's film, I went back and watched it back when he was a senior in high school. Again, gave me that same kind of vibe, ball hawk, going after the ball, the way they, the way they set themselves up. Again, big size, big hands. I like it. I like the pickup here, okay? Obviously, Florida Gators, were not done yet. We had a video drop today. Check that out on the future of what is expected to come. Zay Mincy, LJ McCray, just a few names that Florida Gators are still looking at, hoping that we can close the door on that. Jamari Howard, who is another cornerback that decommitted from Michigan State, he will be at the barbecue. So big things to come. July is humping. This is the third commit for Florida in July, the third commit this week. Turn me up, boys and girls. I'm loving it. Godspeed, my boy. What's going on, baby? Welcome to the show. But watch this film, man. You got it. It's it's something to be excited about. 
um, adding this talent to the team. And anytime this uh, somebody goes to a camp and grabs enough attention from the coaches to where they send them an offer on the spot, it's got to tell you something, right? Um, look, could it be that his, you know, just the high school that he goes to could be, you know, with with the the, the ranking at three stars, something he's he's gonna be something I'm, I'm interested to see if they do climb up. I think I saw a lot of articles that, and I think I did. I saw a lot of articles today talking about him being underrated. Um, so we could see him climb in the rankings as well. But all in all, this is a, a huge pickup for the Florida Gators, just adding to the depth. We're at twenty. We talked about this, uh, let's say two or three weeks ago, where the projection of this class is going: 25, 26. Could we hit twenty eight, twenty nine? Is that where we're headed? I don't know. But right now, look, we've got five to eight spots left. I mentioned a few names, Jamari Howard, LJ McCray, um, Zay Mincy, who we do have a crystal ball for. None of these are a lock, but these are all what's being projected. Um, uh, Deontay Robinson, he's still want somebody that was on our list. His parents, they had a phenomenal time here. That was, there, He was here for that first Jubilee weekend. His, his commitment's coming up as well. So a lot of names still out there. That's four names right there, right? We still need some running backs. We could Love to land a few more wide receivers. I know everyone's kind of looking around going, hey, loving all this big size, loving all these dudes, but definitely would love to get some more wide receivers in the mix. And I, I, couldn't, agree, I couldn't disagree with you guys more. We've got over 350 people in here and not 100 likes. What are we doing, boys and girls? Drop a like, show some love. Congrats again to Mr. Teddy Foster for becoming a Florida Gator, adding to that class. Again, if you guys are watching his film right now, um, take a look. We don't have 28 scholarships. Look. All I know is if we got the right guys in the right places, we'll make some make some room. Is all that I'm saying, Dick Beck. I know we don't have 28, but I also know, and a lot of the you know the talk is if there's if there's somebody that we want, and uh, they want to come knocking, we'll make some room. That's all that I'm saying. Okay, don't don't shoot the messenger. Let me get a sip here, boys and girls. Man, yeah, all right. Well, look. I'm loving it. I'm loving Teddy Foster here. I'm loving this pickup for the Florida Gators and Billy Napier. Again, the 20th commit of the class. Keeping us probably pretty close into that third spot, though. We're not going to move too much out of that, if I had to guess, uh, because, again, Ohio State was uh, very far be but in front of us. Uh, but all in all, huge pickup. Glad to have it. Glad to have you all you guys here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Glad we were able to go live because he went. it's 7 one and we've already went through the whole recap of Teddy Foster and what he's able to bring here. So, again, 6'2", 170. Looked, definitely could look to add some weight. And we'll see how he does, how he climbs up in the rankings uh, th th in this coming season. Again, Sauce Gardner, I, wanna, I gave that comparison. He's 6'3", 188, coming out of high school, three-star. Uh, he was the 144th cornerback in the country. And just again, let's go back to Teddy Foster. And we talk about it all the time, man. The, the, you, can get, you, can get, uh, you can get little gold nuggets out of these three-star guys. He is the 67th-ranked cornerback in the country. So well beyond what Sauce Gardner came out of. And again, I'm not saying he's going to be Sauce Gardner, but everyone's like, oh, he's a three-star. He's ranked 757th nationally. He's huge. He's, he's oversized for a cornerback in regards to the NFL. they got some guys 6'5", and he'll be the second tallest cornerback of the entire team currently. The tallest player on the team right now is Devin Moore. Devin Moore, who was a freshman last year, has had a ton of praise and has high expectations. I'm not saying that his height and weight has anything to do with it. I'm just saying the big advantage, because most cornerbacks are about 5'11", 6 foot, right? And we've seen wide receivers, they, they're getting bigger. I don't know what they're eating, but they're getting bigger. So, uh, look, that's all just size. I understand that. I know I'm going to get crit uh, crit critiqued for that. I'm just simply saying that, look, this, you can't teach that part, all right? So, look, I'm loving it. I'm loving this addition to the Florida Gators. If you guys are, make sure you guys show some love uh, and, and drop a like. But uh, Miami getting shoved in a locker again. Let me go back to the live look here in case you guys missed it. This is a live look in Miami currently right now uh, with Billy and Crystal Ball. Uh, I love that we're able to get this coverage. With us growing, right, as, as, as High Top has grown over, over 15,000 subs, we've been able to get certain things, and one of these is, is live coverage in Miami, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, we're blessed to be able to do that. Uh, shout out to Miami for uh, that allowing us to have a cameraman there. Uh, currently, um, but uh, yeah, it's great stuff. 